Hello, how are you? I'm Steven and I'm a Mexican illustrator and designer here in Mexico. I made this second channel for you to understand what I'm saying if you don't speak Spanish. And this time we are having a haul of some things that I bought in Toronto in Canada. The first one is this black, black wing palomino that's a brand of pencils and I think they do sketches too so they are expensive and they are kind of aesthetics they are, look really pretty on Instagram and YouTube so I had to buy one to try it out and I mean it, it is good it is a pencil so they, they have um, a black one and a gray one And I think colored pencils, and I don't think it's worth it, but as a luxury or as a nice nice thing to have uh, for your Instagram photos, it's okay. But the really thing that I'm really excited about is this Series 7 Winsor Newton brush. I was dying for having a, a Series series. Series 7 brush of Winsor and Newton. They are really expensive, but I think they are really worth it. So I bought one and I'm really pleased. All this stuff that I bought, I already use and I'm going to, to film some reviews for you to see. But I wanted to use them to, to really know how to use them and to see if they are really good and if they are worth the the spend the this brush is really really nice the quality is really it feels expensive the lacquer of the the wood feels really really nice and the hairs they are nat natural from uh how it's called animal in spanish is marta um oh, i don't remember the name but It is the fineness of these animals that are there. Well, I mean, that's what they say, but I really like them. So this, the third thing that I bought in Toronto was this watercolor set. The core that is different from any other brand because they use oaks gall or something called like that. And it is different because Almost every brand of watercolor uses uh, Arabic gum, but this one doesn't, so I would really wanted to try it. I will make a separate video about them to review it in a more extensive way, but here you can see that one thing that I really didn't like about these paints is that they, they come in tube, and I, I like tubes because they are cheaper and they have more paint in them than pants but this palette that is just like a metal box doesn't have pants to hold my paint to dry and it's really annoying to have to pour it in into these tiny holes that has the the metal box so it is good it is not the greatest box But the paints are good. I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to be doing a review to to see light fast and how it spreads in, in the paper. But yeah, I kind of like them. And they were kind of expensive because it is a full set of tubes. But they are not as, as expensive as Daniel Smith or high-end brands of watercolors. They are... Almost the same as Senelier, but I think this ones, this one have more paint than Senelier tubes. I don't know. And one of the the really exciting things that I bought there is the Arches Granofino mm, cold press. It is cold press, but it is supposed to be smoother than regular cold press. I can't imagine how cold press, like real cold press for them is like really, really rough because this one, it is 
it is really rough it is good it is a really nice paper it feels good and the construction of the pad feels really expensive and luxurious but I was confused because I was expect expecting a, a really soft and smooth surface so it was really weird to see that it doesn't have that I mean it is really good too I will make a review about it about it I in the in the past I haven't tried this specific one I have tried arches but just in the in in full sheets I was explaining there that you can put a knife or a pallet knife through the hole that it has so you can rip off a uh, an exp uh, whole page because they are uh, glued to the sides of every size of the of the pad so I w I'm really excited to use this I'm going to be make a review about it and say everything that you you might want to to learn about these all these um, these products I don't think I'm going to do a, a review on this pencil because it is just a pencil. I can do a review now and, and say to you what I like and what I didn't like. It, it is an ex, an different experience of a pencil because it is really soft, it is really dark, and it doesn't have that much of a, of a shine because usually graphite tends to to polish the surface of the paper and have a, a little bit of shine that, that that doesn't allow it to be as dark as possible so it is really nice because of that and it feels really buttery but besides that it's just a regular pencil it doesn't it, it I don't think it's justified the cost just because of a, it is a pencil but if you want something like to take, take pictures of your art and to really be really tumblr and aesthetics and to, to upload your photos to Instagram it is really nice I compare it here to an aquarel pencil that is not as nearly as dark and a mirado numero dos from Uh, it's a really popular pencil here in Mexico and it's really good because it's almost as dark but it's not as soft as the Palomino Black Queen so it's up to you to decide which one of if you want to buy the Palomino Black Queen just for your, your photos and to use it you can use it as well though, of course but that's, that's that on that thank you for watching my channel and this video Sorry for my accent. <laughs> Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Bye.